Oh, hello. You must be my replacement. I'm Josic. I've been the dispatcher here for over 30 years now, and I'll be training you today. It's good to meet you. This is the dispatch interface. Oh, don't worry. We're not very busy at the moment. We've got plenty of time to practice. Why don't we try moving around our view a bit to start? Hold the mouse button to move the screen, or if you prefer, you can use the arrow keys. Great! Now try scrolling the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Haha! <laughs> you're a natural! I can tell you're going to be great at this already. Now, how about we get a bit more comfortable with the interface? There are a few different things that we need to learn about. First up, we have the switches. These allow us to direct the train's route and decide which track they'll follow. Try clicking the highlighted switch. Great! Now we'll move on to the signals. These signals instruct the train to either proceed or halt, depending on which way they're flipped. Try clicking the highlighted signal. Wonderful! Notice that the signal has turned green. This means that it's set to proceed. Trains will be able to run through it. Let's right-click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! As a dispatcher, you'll be responsible for routing trains to specific locations, so we should get familiar with some of the routes you'll be using. Let's start by making a route from Davidsa, Platform 2, to Bugney, Platform 2. We'll start by setting the switches so that the train can safely pass them. Remember, if a switch isn't set correctly, you'll be given a penalty. Set the switch. Great! Now that the switches are set, you can flip the signal. Excellent! Now that the route is set, a train could run through and reach its destination. We'll try setting another route in a second, but first we need to close the current route. Flip the signal to halt. This will make the track available for other trains again. Normally, a train would automatically reset the signal when it passes by, but for now, we can do it manually. Let's right-click it to set it back to great job. Looks like you know what you're doing. Let's see if you can create a route on your own. Try making a route from Bubni Platform 2 to Docks Platform 1. And remember, switches first, then signals. Wonderful! Let's clear this route and get started with some actual trains. Let's right-click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! Well, you've certainly got the hang of that. The trains will start coming soon. I'm off to get a coffee, and then we'll start for real. What's that? Sounds like we've got a train approaching. We'd better get back to work. Oh look! Device Station has a circular train icon next to one of its platforms. That means there's a train waiting to arrive at that platform. We better wave it through. Left click on the circular train icon to take a look at the train. Looks like train commuter 1011 is waiting to arrive. According to its schedule, it's looking to arrive at platform 2. Now that we've selected the train icon, all we have to do to accept the train is to click on one of the station's platforms. Right, here it comes. Sometimes these trains take so long to arrive, I take a nap whilst I wait for them. <laughs> well, feel free to pass the time any way you like. No use sitting here doing nothing. Good work! Now we've got to signal to the train that it's safe to move. See? Great! That'll let the train know that it's safe to set off. Once it's past it, the signal will go back to causing trains to halt. We'll just wait for the train to depart now. It shouldn't be long. Oh look! The train just started moving. 
Its scheduled departure time must have passed already. Now we wait for the train to arrive in Bhubni. As I said, feel free to take a quick power nap. I know I will. Ah, look! The tracks turned red. That means that it's occupied. Time to teach you about reversing. Sometimes we'll need to send the train back the way it came. That's where the reverse button comes in. Just click on the train and we'll be full steam ahead going back the way we came. Now we can signal for the train to proceed. We'll just wait. Oh look, the train just started moving. Its scheduled departure time must have passed already. Well, let's hope it's not late. You won't believe how many late trains I've had over the years. Oh, they just give me a small fine, but nothing I can't handle. Fantastic job. You know, I think you're ready to wear one of these now. Your very own pocket watch. You can pin it to your uniform. I got this when I first started as a conductor a long, long time ago. Try it on. Wow, that really suits you, huh? Reminds me of myself when I was younger. Well, I think it's time to see how well I've taught you. I'm going to let you try dispatching four trains on your own now, and you've got to make sure that they're all on time. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be great. Check the timetable to see the incoming trains. Here's the first train. Make sure to keep an eye on its schedule to see where it's headed and when it's leaving. 
We wouldn't want it to be late. Go ahead, accept the train onto the platform. If you want to set the signal to halt, use right click. Nice work. I knew you were a natural.
another incoming train? Make sure you handle it on time and don't be in a hurry. Oh, looks like the train's heading for the docks. We could take the Bubni route, but that takes a while. Why don't we build a shortcut? See that highlighted button? That's the construction menu. Go ahead and click it. Open the... Great! Now click the highlighted cell on our map. That will place the start of our new track. Click the highlighted cell on our map. Perfect! Now we can place the rest. Click the new highlighted cell. This is where our track will end. Click the highlighted cell on our map. Excellent job! That'll make the trip to the docks much quicker. Close the construction menu by clicking the panel again or by pressing the escape key. Perfect! Now you can use that route for the next train. I'm going to step out and stretch my legs a bit. Don't worry, I'll be back when you're done dispatching all of the trains. Good luck!
Oh, I really needed that stretch. Sitting for a long time does not agree with me. You did fantastically on the trains. Excellent job. Now we've got the hang of things, we don't want to get bored, do we? I think it's time to ramp up the traffic a bit. And we can do that by accepting some contracts. Perhaps one from Device to Bubni and back, just to keep things simple. Open the info panel for Device. I'll let you know when we're ready. But for now, you should keep an eye on the station info panel. Try to see when our current trains are arriving and departing. That way, you'll be better prepared to take on new contracts. Perfect. Now seems like a good time, and it looks like you've been offered a new contract. Isn't that a lucky coincidence? Let's click on the offered contract icon and take a look. Go on, click on the offered contract icon and take a look. Right. In this delightful view, you can explore not only the contract details, but also the train's route and the stations it visits. Before we proceed with this contract, there is a bit of scheduling work we should do. We'll settle up the platforms for the stops and make sure there aren't any clashes with other train schedules. Trust me, nailing down the platforms will make your dispatcher life a whole lot smoother in the long run. Finally, we should allocate a Platform 1 for the return stop at Device. Let's keep using Platform 2 for incoming trains and Platform 1 for outgoing trains at Device. Perfect! With that, our contract is ready to be accepted. Go on and accept the contract. Good work! Now that you've accepted it, it's time for the trial train. It's a reality check for our schedule. You can make adjustments just after the trial, but keep in mind that it may affect how much you'll be paid for it, so make it count.
Oh, and a note on contracts for the future. Remember, you should only accept the ones you like the look of. No need to take too many, or any at all, if you'll get overwhelmed. Look at that, the train's at Bubni already. Whew, that was quick. Don't worry if you're not happy with the contract. You can always reject it or optimize the route later on. Wonderful! That train will be running every 60 minutes from now on, so be sure to watch out for it. <laughs> 